You have an amazing business idea, but you're not doing anything about it. You're not pushing it forward. You're not working on it because you're scared. And if you don't do something about it right now, you will regret it for the rest of your life. You're scared and that's okay. It's okay to admit that you're scared. But what you can't do is you can't let that fear stop you from moving forward. I got a DM the other day from someone who said, I've been sitting on this idea for 10 years. I had this idea for 10 years. It just won't go away. Are they any closer today than they were 10 years ago to making it happen? No, they've wasted 10 years on this idea that they just can't let go of. I have a friend who had this really big idea in November and they said, ah, I wanna do this thing. Perfect. What are you doing today to drive this forward? It's been months. They're waiting till next year to start thinking about doing the research for the idea that they might be able to do. So when I sit down with them and I say, why aren't you doing anything about this? Why aren't you spending 10 minutes today, 10 minutes tomorrow, do 10 minutes every day, that's 70 minutes per week, that's five hours per month, that's 60 hours per year that they could be spending moving this thing forward through research, through speaking to people, through planning things out. At the very least, they could be starting to take some action. I said, why aren't you doing this? And they said, because I'm scared. I am scared that the, I'm gonna do research into something and it's gonna prove that I can't do it. This person will not do the work to move the idea forward because they are scared that they're gonna find out information that proves that their idea is wrong. Is that you? What are you scared about? Why are you sitting on this idea for so long? Because here's the thing, you have to ask yourself, what is the alternative? What is the alternative? You have this idea, you think it will work. Every idea has a shelf life. Every idea has a window. Someone else is gonna come along and do it and you're gonna say, oh, they stole my idea, they took my idea. Well, guess what? They actually had the courage to start acting on it. They had the chutzpah to be able to start driving forward with it and all you did was sit there with your idea doing nothing. So again, what is the alternative? If you're afraid to do the research because you're gonna spend three or five or six months doing research only to find out that your idea will not work and you feel like you've wasted that time because all you've done is proven that your idea will not work, what is the alternative? You just go out and spend a lot of money, you learn these things or test these things in market, you rather than spend three or six months finding out whether it will or will not work, you do nothing at all, you launch your business and then you find out in market that it doesn't work, you can't do that. You can't let the fear of finding something that will prove you wrong stop you from taking steps forward. But that's only one of the fears. You may be afraid that someone's gonna judge you. You may be afraid that you're leaving your safety, your certainty of what you're doing now for the unknown and you will fail. You may fear the judgment that comes from you pouring your life into something that turns out to not only be not valuable to people, but an entire train wreck. And then your friends and your family and your colleagues say, you left what you were doing for that? Why would you do that? But what is the alternative? You're gonna regret this forever. So you can't sit on your ideas. You have to take the idea, you have to be willing to work it, and you have to make the decision as to whether it's something you're gonna do or not. But what you can't do is just live in your mind. You can't just allow the excitement of what you may do feed your soul and feed your mind and give yourself all those chemicals that say, this is what I'm gonna do. You can't allow that to shape your reputation or give you status to say, I am the person who one day will do this. Right? You're sitting there and talking to people and they say, oh, how's that thing going? You go, great, great, I'm working on it. Or maybe you're even afraid to even explain it or share it to people because you're worried about all that judgment. But what you're doing to yourself is you are lying to yourself because you're allowing yourself to get excited about something that isn't real. And you wanna use that excitement. And of course, using excitement about something that's not real if you take action is amazing. But if all you do is sit there and get excited about what could be without ever doing anything, then you're just lying to yourself. Since I was 16, I wanted my motorcycle's license. And uh, I've done dirt biking, I've gone ATVing, I've done all these things. And I was always terrified to get my motorcycle's license because the thought of being on the road around other people just scared me. And then something happened to a family member. Uh, they got sick, they passed away. And in that moment I thought, I can't allow this fear. Like life is short. I can keep myself out of certain risks. I can take certain precautions, but what I can't do in my you know, mid thirties 
is spend another 20 years wishing that I had my motorcycle's license. I was terrified to sign, I, my hand was shaking when I went and got my license. My hand was shaking when, when uh, I bought the motorcycle. And when I went to the course and actually did the two day driving course. And so I get my license and I have my bike sitting in my garage and I say to my wife, hey, I'm gonna go out for a ride. And she says, okay. I was, I was petrified to pull out of my driveway onto the road because now I'm in the real world. Now I'm not, there's no pylons. I'm not in the safety of a parking lot. I'm not dirt biking slowly or whatever, carefully through a forest. I am now on a six lane road with people all around me and I am responsible for my own safety. And I'm worried about slipping and I'm worried about falling and I'm worried about people not seeing me and them cutting me off. So I am, I am gripping the handlebars because I am terrified. But what it shouldn't have done is it shouldn't have taken me the loss of a loved one to get over my fear of doing this. It shouldn't have taken this extreme uh, feeling or, or worry about regretting this for the rest of my life to make me take action and get over my fears. That was two years ago. Right now, I cannot wait to get back on the bike. But what I'm thrilled about more than anything else is that I actually did it. And so are you the person who sitting on this idea, wasting all this time, never moving forward? Are you comfortable letting five years go by and watching other people do what you wish and dreamed you can do? Or will you just decide to take action today? 10 minutes, that's all you need to do. If you can give yourself 20 minutes, if you can give yourself a half hour, that's even better. But 10 minutes, spend 10 minutes today writing down an idea, fleshing it out, thinking about what you have to do to make it happen. Now, aside from fear, the other thing that's keeping you from moving forward is you've made it too big. You've made the idea way too big. And so you thought, I need funding and I need money and I need a location. And if I'm gonna do this, then I have to do that. And if I'm gonna, Make it small. The person who gave me this idea in November, who still hasn't taken action, wants to do something in food and experience and all these things. So I said, can you start with your recipes? Right, you're in food and, and all of these things. Like, why not start doing research and developing your recipes? You can do that. That sounds like fun if that's what you're into. Why not start with making a decision as to like maybe the name of the place or what the colors might be? Or maybe do some research in terms of what it takes to run a successful type of business like this. Googling things out, pulling a list of the types of places that you might wanna go and visit and experience. Doesn't that sound like fun? What are you scared of? Doesn't that sound like fun? No matter what business you're in, you can do some simple research. You can put to pen to paper and decide what you may stand for, or what it might be called, or who you may be wanting to target, where you may wanna be located. You can start to think about these things and put it onto paper and start to take action. And then this big thing that you're sitting on won't seem so big. It now shrinks it down to these really manageable steps. But you have to start. You cannot wait. You cannot sit on your ideas. You have to start. I don't feel like that needs to close, but is that okay? Yeah.